How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released another update to iOS 18, iOS 18.3.2. And in this video, I'm gonna explain you why this is a necessary evil. Okay, so as you can probably already tell, this is a minor software update and you can easily see that because this is a two dot software update. So as you can see, 18.3.2, two dots means minor software update. So what this software update will bring is important bug fixes and security updates. And it actually mentions one bug fix specifically, but just one, which is that it addresses an issue that may prevent playback of some streaming content. Apple doesn't really describe what kind of content, what kind of streaming content it is, or service or application, it is really general and that's exactly what this software is about. But then you may be thinking, okay, but why are you calling it a necessary evil? It's just another common minor software update of iOS 18. And the thing is, that's the problem because iOS 18 has a huge problem when we're talking about battery health. Specifically, we're seeing huge drops of battery health every single time we update to a newer version of iOS 18. I actually made a dedicated video on this. So if we come back here, come back once again on our settings and go to battery and go to battery health and cycle and we see here maximum capacity and our battery health, the percentage as you can see right here, that's where the problem lives. And don't get me wrong, this is a normal thing. It's always been like that. Every time we update our iPhone software, that's exactly when iOS will actually recalculate our battery cycles and then recalculate the battery health, making it stay the same or sometimes, and in iOS 18 many times, decrease the battery health, the percentage right here. And I'm making this very clear because it's normal, it's always been like that, but in iOS 18 specifically, this effect is just greater. It's just happening way more intense and the battery health is going down way faster, way more every single time we update our iPhone. Am I saying you shouldn't update? No, never. I've never done this and I never will. I've always said how important it is to update your iPhone to the latest versions of iOS and I always will. The point of this video, and that's why I'm calling it a necessary evil, is that sometimes we're getting so many software updates that won't give us anything new, anything that we can benefit as users, but then we're getting the bad part, which is the decrease in our battery health, which as I said, is a specific problem from iOS 18 and there's a dedicated video here on the channel. I'll leave a card right here, link in the description if you wanna check it out. And so that's literally it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, always hit the like button and comment down below to stay tuned on the latest about Apple. So thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one as usual guys. Bye bye.